In this presentation, we're considering uh, the following differential equation, dy dx equals to f of ax plus by, where a and b are suitable constants. x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. What we want to do is uh, solve this equation, this differential equation, and uh, we do so by uh, making a, a substitution. We let ax plus by be our uh, variable, our dependent variable. Uh, we rename it v. This substitution leads to a separable differential equation, which we solve in terms of a v and x. And once solved, we back substitute ax plus by in place of v. So let's proceed to do that. Let's proceed to show how the uh, substitution leads to a separable equation and then exemplify. We'll show an example of how that's done. So let's start with our differential equation. Our differential equation here is um, dy dx equals f ax plus dy. Our substitution is uh, v equals ax plus by. So v, we're going to let v equal to x plus by. So immediately the right hand side becomes f of v. Now what does the left hand side become? What is dy dx in terms of v? Well we could use our substitution to find out. Differentiate both sides with respect of x. We'll differentiate both sides with respect of x. What happens on the left hand side? Uh, dv dx, we, we get dv dx, dv dx. On the right hand side, we're going to get a, the derivative of ax is a, the derivative of ax with respect of x is a, plus b times dy dx. Now we are interested in uh, dy dx, so we can solve for it here in a formal fashion, algebraically. So we subtract a from both sides. What does that give? Well, that gives us b dy dx, b dy dx is dv dx minus a. Uh, to get rid of the b, we multiply both sides by 1 over b. So, mm, multiply by 1 over b, multiply by 1 over b, multiply by 1 over b. Uh, this, of course, can only be done if b is different than 0. So, if I go back here, I would like to demand that b not equal to 0. So once that's satisfied, once we have b is not equal to 0, this can be carried out. So consequently, we obtain that dy dx is simply one over b, so dy dx equals one over b dv dx minus a over b. Okay, so let's take this back to the equation. Our equation right here has dy dx. We are replacing dy dx by this expression that has dv dx. So 1 over b dv dx minus a over b equals 
the right hand side f of v so and here I just made that a substitution okay so now it's just a matter of carrying out a couple of algebraic steps to separate the variables here so first we'll we'll add a over b to both sides plus a over b so what that gives is a 1 over b dv dx equals f of v plus a over b now getting rid of the b is just a matter of multiplying both sides by b so multiply by b multiply by b multiply by b so what we get what we get then is the b's cancel there so you have dv dx equals b f of v the b's cancel here plus a in order to separate we formally uh, obtain that dv over b f of v plus a equals dx and there is your separation of variables. Let's illustrate this method with an example. Our example is dy dx equals 2x plus 3y plus 5. So our substitution of course is a let v be 2x plus 3y. equals 2x plus 3y immediately we differentiate both sides with respect of x we get dv dx equals to 2 plus 3 dy dx and then we solve for dy dx uh, algebraically we obtain dy dx equals to 1 third dv dx minus two thirds okay. all right so now we take uh, that result that result for dy dx and replace dy dx in our original problem so the left hand side becomes this left hand side becomes a um, one third dv dx minus two thirds equals uh, the right hand side becomes v plus five now we got to solve this equation so in order to solve we're going to separate because we know it is separable now so we separate the variables let's do a little bit of the algebra let's multiply both sides by three clear those fractions multiply left hand side right hand side by three that clears all those unpleasant fractions so we get dv dx minus the threes cancel so you're left with two equals 3v plus 15 now of course we just move the two over so you get dv dx equals 3v plus 17 now we separate the variables and when we separate the variables we get in a formal fashion which is acceptable in a, in a course like this in, in differential equations we get dv over 3v plus 17 equals to dx 
Now, if we formally integrate both sides, an acceptable step in differential equations, in ordinary differential equations. And uh, right hand side becomes x plus some constant. For the time being, we're going to call that constant uh, c1. c1 will change form eventually. Our final constant integration will we'll, we'll call it c, but for now this is a, this will change form. And on the left hand side we get a natural logarithm. So we get the natural logarithm of um, the absolute value of 3v plus 17. What we, what we have done is separate the variables and solved. Now we would like to get back to our original variable which is a uh, 2x plus 3y. We're, so we're going to back substitute v. Uh, remember v was uh, 2x plus 3y, so we're going to put it back in here. So you get ln 3 times 2x plus 3y plus 17 equals x plus C1. And let, let's make a correction here. You, uh, I forgot about the constant. When you, when you integrate dv over 3v plus 17, you get the natural logarithm, but then there is that constant, one third, to compensate for the 3 that's in front of the, of the v. So let me make the correction here as well. Okay now, so now that our integral has been corrected, uh, we have a solution. We, we, this is a solution to our original problem. Now, if we insist that we want to write our solution where y is completely isolated, then there is some algebra to be done now. Uh, the, the, differential the calculus part, the solution of the differential equation has been obtained, but if we insist on solving for y, some algebra needs to be done. Let's first get rid of this fraction, this one-third, by multiplying both sides by 3. Multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. Let's rename 3C1 is C2. So what do we get? Uh, here we're going to get the, three, the third and the three cancels, so you get the natural logarithm of the absolute value of. Uh, let's do some algebra inside that uh, absolute value. So you get uh, 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 6x plus 9y plus 17 equals uh, 3x plus c2. Remember c2 has uh, replaced 3c1. Now we want to get rid of this ln because we're solving for y so what we do is we uh, take this as an exp as two equal exponents so if we take uh, the base e to that exponent is the same as the base e raised to that other exponent because they are equal exponents. This is formal manipulation. Uh, it is quite acceptable in in differential equations, solving differential equations. So, what happens here? The e of ln is just the arguments. So in this case, six uh, x plus nine y plus seventeen. We're ignoring the absolute value. Any constant that comes out of this will absorb uh, the plus or minus that the absolute value uh, in encodes. Now here you have e to the 3x times e to the c2 which now we rename uh, c. Alright, so we're almost there. We're, we, if we're solving for y, we're a few steps away from that. So um, we've got so far, we're solving for y. So what we want to do, let me, let me write what we're, where we are so far, so we can continue on this new page. So I'll put this c in front, c e to the 3x. That's where we are right now. We're solving for y, so let's subtract 6x from both sides, and let's also subtract 17 from both sides. 
So we get some cancellation. We're left with 9y equals uh, c e to the 3x minus 6x minus 17. Last step to isolate y, divide both sides by 9. So there we have it. Uh, y equals c e to the 3x minus 6x minus 17 over 9. So <coughs> that's our example. Now let's go back and look at, at the example and, uh, and ask the question, what kind of an equation is our example? Well, it is an equation of this form, dy dx equals f of ax plus by. So our technique applies. It does happen to be also a linear equation. Uh, observe that if I bring this 3y together with dy dx, minus 3y equals 2x plus 5, this is also linear. So we can solve it also as a linear equation. So where is the advantage? Where is where is our 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 method useful? When when is our method useful where where we have dy d dx equals afx plus by? When is this substitution v, the new dependent variable v being ax plus by useful? Uh, it is useful uh, in cases where the, the differential equation that we're looking at is actually not a, a of a known type. Uh, for example, uh, if we look at um, dy dx, so this, this would be it, 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 I'm about to write here an equation that that does not turn out to be a, a, a linear. It doesn't turn out to be Bernoulli. It does not turn out to be separable up until a substitution, of course. So if we have dy dx equals to, uh, let's see, we have And we have this example somewhere. 2x plus 3y to the third. We have that equation right there. Um, it is not linear because on the right hand side, you when you cube 2x plus 3y, you get um, a cubic uh, expression on the variable y. It is not Bernoulli because you have a, a, a mixture of powers of y cubed, square, and first power, so it is not Bernoulli. Uh, it isn't separable because we are mixing 2x plus 3y. It will become separable, of course, after we use our technique of making the substitution v equals 2x plus 3y. So in an example like this, we are expecting our method to be uh, useful. You cannot solve it as a linear equation. You cannot solve it as a Bernoulli equation. Um, so our, then our, our method is useful. And this, and we're going to leave this problem here for the for the audience to try. Uh, so this is an exercise. We leave it as an exercise for the audience to to solve. This concludes our presentation of uh, solving the differential equation uh, dy dx equals f, f, f of ax plus by, uh, where a b are suitable constants, x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable.